Hello, Bram Grote here, and I'm going to teach you how to use the advanced lightning effect in After Effects. With the advanced lightning, you can do all sorts of shocking things. I promise that's the last time I'll use that pun. So, uh, here's the footage, and what I'm going to do is to make electricity shoot out of that cord. I've already done it, as you can see. Here, I'll show you what I've done. I'll give it a RAM preview first. Okay, okay here we go. Not bad, huh? But uh, I recommend uh, getting better footage than I did, and actually white balancing it. But uh, anyway, first thing to do is to duplicate the foot footage, so go to edit, and then duplicate, or if uh, you're using a Mac, which I am, you do command D, and that will duplicate the footage. So then you scrub through it until you get to where you want to start using the lightning, which is about here. So, uh, then you go to Effect, Generate, Advanced Lightning. So uh, with the Advanced Lightning, you can uh, do a lot of things. You can have a lightning strike like this, or you can choose, you direct, instead of Direction, you can choose Strike, which then makes it so Instead of it forking out at one end, it goes from one end to another. This is good if you want if you have two different contact spots. You can also do breaking, which sort of splits it up, or you can do bouncy, which uh, that's kind of cool. But what I'm using is going to be direction, which is I'm using to make electricity shoot out of this cord plug. So uh, what I do is I well first uh, I use uh, keyframes. I'll just do all of these in case anything changes. Although for this thing all I'm doing is making, using the, uh, uh, I'm changing the origin. That's about the only thing that changes for this particular one. Just making sure that it's always coming out of there. So you, it's a tedious process going through every frame and making it line up. Now when you're always moving the origin, it automatically changes the, uh, how the lightning does, so you don't have to do that. But uh, if you, whoops, bump the mic by mistake. But if you're not, then you have to do some other things like changing the turbulence or the forking. Although, actually forking makes it, uh, Make, makes it up. Uh, there will be more things. So turbulence is what you want to do if you're wanting to make the lightning change, but you're not making the origin or the direction change. So as you can see, uh, because I keyframed it, it changes with each frame it moves. And so uh, there are a lot of things you can do, because you can also change the color of the glow. You can make it red, for example. Or you can change just about to just about any color. Well, that looks kind of cool, but yeah, there are all sorts of color possibilities. You don't have to just make it blue. 
So, yep, but 